For the last few weeks, we've been working on them, uh, restoring them completely from top to bottom. So we're using uh, some of the existing uh, handrails and balusters that were here, and then we've reclaimed some things from other properties that we're going to use to, to do the whole job. But basically, the symptoms of these staircases, what happened, if you look down here, you can see this is typical from the first floor all the way to the, uh, to the top. Uh, you see this gap here. This is, uh, this is the, the stair stringer, and then there's a skirt board that's cut around with it, that had a little cutout for the, the, the uh, tread to go into, and the, it's moved away. Now, why is it moved away? This wall, as you can see, it had some water coming through it. There used to be another house built next door to here, and this wall, when that house got torn down, this wall moved that way just enough, or pretty significantly enough, to pull these, to pull these so you got this going on. A couple of other things have happened at the same time in this house, and I'll show you. And I'm standing on the lot where there used to be a house in the 1870s when this one was built, and uh, that house got torn down. So if you look up at that wall there, you probably can't see it too good, but when I sight it, the way we sight a wall when we look at a wall is we put our eye at the bottom of the wall and we, we look up the side of the wall. And uh, if I do that, I can see with my eye how that wall pokes out a little bit like that. It has a little pregnancy in it, uh, especially out there where, where we were just inside. That's where we were. So that's one of the things that happened here. Now, they're going to build a house on this lot. And when they do, that'll be good for this wall. Even though this wall has been stuccoed and painted, uh, it'll be good for this wall when a house is here. It'll be like having a buddy leaning up against you to hold you up. <laughs> so... It's typical in the city like this, where all these houses are, when you pull a tooth out, you know, the other the other teeth move. It's a little bit like that. It's not like, it's not like so structurally uh, compromising that you have to tear the whole house down, but it does move a little bit. And uh, I'll show you the other side of the house now where it was even worse. Okay, so this is the other side of the house. And on this side of the house, what we had to do here this has been like a 10 year span that my friend Andrew's been in this house. What we had to do on this side, this wall was so compromised that we had to take the entire brick wall down. Before we did that, we framed the inside of, the, of this first floor and second floor and third floor. We framed it all the way up from top to bottom. Then the wall came down, we sheathed it and then the wall was taken down all the way to the foundation. So we had to support the joists in the basement and on every floor and uh, the wall got framed, it got plywood and then the mason came in and all these recycled brick restored, they all came from the same place. It's a beautiful job because they, they have a nice old look to them. And uh, the guy did a fantastic job. They all got matched up and this whole wall got rebuilt. But when this wall was coming down, I mean, Andrew lived here for a couple of years with like plywood and the wind blowing through and no heat. Uh, it's a pretty amazing story. Uh, structurally, it was like scary in there for a while. Now we got this thing back together. And after we finished the wall, we ordered these windows. These sills, these sills got recycled from other buildings and we ordered these nice windows, Air Andersons, and uh, we put them in uh they worked out really well and so the whole the whole side of this house has been stabilized it's really put all the put back together again but the reason that that wall moved this wall moved and there was some sinking in the floor on the inside from all the water and damage and this is what all happened to these stairs that's why the stairs the stair treads pulled away from their stringers and the stairs got all crazy that's why they had to be rebuilt now because of the damage that was done by all the outside structural stuff what happens in these houses is the joists that come across that go into a stairwell opening, they're, they're tied to a joist that's going this way. Excuse me. They're tied to a joist that's going this way. And over time, the joist that's going that way, which is carrying the load of these guys in the opening, it gets weary and it starts to settle. So that's the third factor that affected these stairs. Each one of these stair openings, as you go from floor to floor, has a a long header in it which receives the joists and it carries a load and it gets weak over time people take walls out different things happen what we did in this case on this floor 
was we put a, a steel beam up in here. We ran a beam across. It sits on this post, the steel post. And then this post is posted down into the basement on a pier. So the weight comes down. And what we've done is we've given, it comes across here, sits over here, that's posted down. And what we've done is we've given all these joists in the ceiling like a relief, like, ah, thank you so much for taking all that weight off my back after 150 years with some help. So we did that on this floor, we did it in the basement, and we did what we could on, this, on the floor above to pick up weight where we could to give this long header piece on each stair opening a little bit of a, a break, you know, for all the hard work it's done all its life.